All right. Hello, hello, Aquarius. Thank you for joining me, Tootsie, here at Snake Lady Tarot. I'm going to do your general energy reading for you, get you some advice, some messages, some foresight for you over the next few days or so. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate your support. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Hit the notifications button, and you won't miss out on any future readings. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. All right. Um, maybe you are not Aquarius. Maybe you have Aquarius in your birth chart. Maybe you're in a relationship, in love, or just interested in Aquarius energy. Nevertheless, cross watchers are welcome as well. Thank you for your support also. All right. Um, only take what resonates, you guys. Leave what doesn't behind. Leave it for someone else. Don't force the energy. Don't force the square into a circle. All right. Gender roles do not apply. And also feel free to swap the energy roles. Maybe I'm reading someone around you, Aquarius. Maybe I'm not reading you. All right. Um, so let's get into it. Advice, messages for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Be sure to leave a comment down below, you guys, if this does resonate with you. Um, if it doesn't, feel free to check your birth chart and check out one of my other readings. I absolutely do weekly readings. Sometimes I throw out a general random reading because I feel like it or because I am... Uh, I feel like I need to, right? So, Aquarius, you need support. You're looking for support. Um, the people that you have responsibility over depend on your support so there's some healing happening here some internal healing some spiritual healing healing with your support team as well um there may have been some you <laughs> yeah you may be aware of some discord some disconnect with between yourself and your support between yourself and the people that you support and i feel like you're understanding it you're aware of it um, so this is going to be the gist of your general energy reading today. Some, some healing, some support, and new awareness. New awareness. Let's slide this over here. All right. Grand way to start it off. Let's get into it. Advice, messages for Aquarius. So I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you woke up feeling happy, healthy, blessed, and in positive energy. Good vibes only. All right. Messages, advice for Aquarius. Let's get it together. Let's get it. What does Aquarius need to know? Healing, support, awareness. What else is going on? All right, Aquarius, look here. <laughs> a lot of awareness, a lot of support, a lot of healing happening here. <clears throat> so we have new moon energy. All right, so this is a new cycle for you. This is something that's beginning new for you. This is new awareness. This is something you're newly aware that you need support with, that you need to heal from. Um, this could be you, Aquarius. This could be the energy around you. Thief, enemy, selfish, dishonest, negative energy connotations, all right? Um, because of this, there's an apology needed or required or requested. Regrets, reconcile, forgiveness, right? The healing must begin somewhere. And we have lessons, healing, and wounded warrior. So if you've got a chip on your shoulder, let it go. All right, worry, anxiety, fear, let it go. Um, moving forward, you can't look back in the rearview mirror, right? That's That's not how you move forward. That's not how you continue to bring positivity into your space uh you will block your blessings um 
especially holding on to a grudge if it's not you per se yourself with this energy, if this is someone around you um, in your circle, in your cycle of friends, your community, your society, you know, you've got to find the positivity in it. You've got to find the reconciling energy, forgive them, apologize, accept the apology, but don't live with regrets. Don't live looking back over your shoulder with a chip on your shoulder, right? Um, this person can have earth in their birth chart. They can be an earth sign. Um, they could be, um, have earth energy and just be grounded, not of material, um, obsession, right? Not obsessed with material energy, very tang tangible and very grounded. Um, let's get into it. Let's get some more advice for you. What does Aquarius need to know? Let's check it out. Bottom of the deck. Love, admiration, devotion, passionate. I feel like you admire someone Aquarius, maybe you look up to someone for support, for healing. Um, maybe they are a person that teaches you lessons. Um, so they could be a person of wisdom, experience. They could be slightly older than you. Um, but maybe they're shining the light on this selfish, dishonest, thief type of energy. Maybe they're shining the light that you're going to have regrets in the future unless you heal. Um so there is a sense of love and support here that you're noticing, that you're acknowledging. All right. Let's get an advice messages for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Advice for Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius? Have magic alignment, gratitude, and the great diviner. Bottom of the deck, unconditional love, the blueprint. So listen, Aquarius, you, you are in a sense of recognition. You're doing some shadow work, <clears throat> some inner healing. You're having some recognition and some new awareness. I feel like you're aligning yourself with new magic. Maybe you're starting to see the signs in nature. You're starting to see the signs, the, um, the repeat patterns, okay? And it's starting to make sense to you. It feels like um, I just did a reading for Virgo. It was like they were their vision was expanding, like they, like they took the sunglasses off and they can see clearly now. There's a new sense of clarity for you. I feel like you're you're having gratitude now because you realize the support that you have. You have gratitude for your support. You have gratitude uh, with the great divine be for healing because you realize that's where the healing is. That's where the passion, the devotion, the admiration is. Unconditional love. This is a new cycle for you. This is a new beginning. I love this reading for you, Aquarius. Air energy. I'm loving this. I'm excited. Let's get into it. <clears throat> I want to get some more Oracle before we jump into tarot. All right. I like to pull three Oracles and then jump into tarot. But because there's so much growth, self-healing, self-awareness, I feel like you're ascending here. I feel like maybe you're vibrating a little a little higher, a little faster, a little louder. You're shining brighter here. Um, star energy, Aquarius. That's your card. That's your major arcana. And that's what I'm feeling for you. I feel as though you have awakened. 
you've awakened past woke and you are truly seeing things clearly. I'm curious about the clarity for you. I'd like to get into it. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. Absolutely. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Yes. Surrender more. Open up more. Connect more. Balance yourself more. And bottom of the deck, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like that for you. All right. You are being guided here. And one more. Let's get you some Dragonfire Tarot. I'm sorry, Dragonfire Oracle here. And then I will pull your tarot card. I like the foresight. I can feel the warmth of your heart here, Aquarius. I feel like you are looking for connections. You're looking to um you're looking to heal some sort of a disconnect with your support team. That's that's what I'm getting. Maybe you've been a little selfish, a little dishonest, presenting yourself as the enemy. Um, but without this friendship, this guidance, you are the wounded warrior. You're fighting for no reason and you're blocking your blessings with the people who condition unconditionally love you. Lilac Fire Dragon transmutes through the power of divine love. Open up to transcend love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. All right. Purity of heart. So, yeah, you just want to get, you know, um, let go of this negative energy, worry, anxiety, fear, selfish, dishonest, thievery. All right. You can't live with regrets and then have wish fulfillments. It's negative energy. You're going to bring forth negativity while you're bringing forth your wish fulfillment, your goals, your desires. You need to be in positive energy before you reach out and pull things in towards you. All right. Positive vibes only. When you think you've surrendered to positivity, to guidance, to healing, surrender more. Spirit advises, surrender more. All right, a lot of lilac, a lot of purple happening here for you. Um, I will say with this beautiful purple, this beautiful amethyst color. All right. Um, this is spiritual awareness. It's psychic abilities, intuition, and inner wisdom. It's your third eye chakra. That's your, your mind. Your, your mind connecting with your spiritual soul. And you're connecting. You're having a new understanding. You're having new awareness, new clarity, and new understanding. Enlightenment, love and enlightenment. Pure heart brings peace, hope, and joy. Advice for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Advice for Aquarius. Messages, advice for Aquarius. Your personality, Aquarius. Two of Wands. It's a standstill, it's stagnation. You have a chance, you have an opportunity to walk through this portal, to walk into a new cycle, a new beginning. You can open a door for yourself and walk through as a healed individual, as someone who's learned the lessons, as someone who has licked their wounds and got up and tried again. What are you thinking about? What are you reflecting on in your past, in your recent past? You. You, the star. When you're open, when you're honest, when you're balanced, when you're true to yourself, when you're true to life, when you're living in this reality. See, you have wish fulfillments, you have goals, you have things that you want to prepare for to move forward and to walk on a path towards your goal. There are steps to take. Again, you have to be in the right 
energy. You have to have the right internal power, right? Your chi, so to speak, has to be vibrating high, shining bright. You have to give off good energy to receive good energy. You bring, you bring what you give. Like you give what you bring to the table. And so you're reflecting on a time, Aquarius, when you were in your own, when you were standing on your own, when you were in your own magic, when your magic was aligned here. Boom, that's what I wanted to say. When your magic was aligned, when you had equal balance with yourself, spirit, soul, when you were transmuted, when you were not in a selfish energy, when you were full of admiration, devotion, and passion, when you were able to provide support to those around you, healing to those around you, not trying, now you're at the point where you're trying to get back to that. All right. What's weighing heavy on your mind? The moon. What's true? What's not true? How have you been honest with yourself? How have you been lying to yourself and not living in your truth? See, what's done in the dark always comes to the light. I feel like you're being enlightened and you're starting to see yourself, your true colors. Um, you're having a new understanding, a new clarity, and you're aware. Now you need to heal so you can provide that support and clarify and, and shine light on other shadows. Move along, keep moving get on your correct path so i feel like what's weighing heavy on your mind is honesty truth and awareness what are you in the mood for here what are you in the mood for advice for aquarius what are you in the mood for six of cups nine of wands so this is love, unconditional love. This is admiration and devotion. It's passion. Cups are full of unconditional love. They're full of genuine care, joy, happiness. And you want to protect it with the nine of wands. You want to build your fence and create a safe space. For those that make you feel nostalgic, for those that make you reflect on the past, for those that mean something near and dear to your heart, you want love and you want to protect it and you don't want it to go anywhere. You want it to be grounded. You want it to be genuine and long lasting. What about your heart? What's weighing heavy on your heart? What is weighing heavy on your heart here? Advice, messages, thank you. The hermit, major arcana, <laughs> the star, the moon, the hermit. There's that light. You're looking to shine light on what's in the dark. You're looking to find the snakes in the grass. You're looking to see clearly what's in the path in front of you. What's in the dark? What's in the shadows? What's true? What's not true? Am I being honest with myself? Are they lying to me? Clarity, honesty, awareness. It's weighing heavy on your heart. Um, healing hurts, right? The truth hurts. Healing hurts. You're looking into information about the truth about love. Perhaps you're realizing that some of your behaviors are blocking your blessings and love. Some of your traits, some of the, the way that you think and the way you've been seeing and receiving life hasn't been true. It hasn't been honest. It hasn't been giving. It's been quite selfish. Thief type energy. And you're learning the lesson. You're healing. You're realizing and you're seeing the light. You can see your own shadows. A lot of shadow work happening for you here. And said you bring you get what you give and if you're having disingenuine relationships disingenuine friendships it's because that's what you're giving 
Three of Swords is in your health placement. Mental, physical, spiritual health. There's some grief, some misery, some heartache. Um, I would absolutely say that this is with regards to your mental and your spiritual. Um, physically, you know, I'm not a doctor, definitely not a fortune future teller. I can only read the energies. See a doctor, check yourself out, make sure the physical is well, make sure you're on track, you're eating good, you're exercising, and you're drinking lots of water. And spiritually pray, open yourself up, be open, be honest, pray, you know, ask for forgiveness, forgive yourself, forgive the people around you, move forward, don't stay stagnant, stuck without making a move. You have opportunities in front of you, you have to do the work, heal yourself and move forward. Aquarius, what is going on in your society, your community, the people around you? King of Swords, Four of Pentacles. People are in control around you. People have root excuse me, people have routine, people have control they have sorry i have the hiccups you guys <laughs> they have control they have power they have authority over their life they've taken control of their life life is not just happening to them they're not just blowing with the wind the people around you are grounded they're stable they are secure they are aware they can see what you're doing they can see how you're behaving um they can see right through you. They can read you, right? I don't know why I just got that pentacle the way he's holding that pentacle. It's like they can read you like a card. Like I see you. And these are this this is probably your mentors, the people you look up to, someone that provides support and healing for you, someone that allows someone that allows you to learn the lessons. They provide the energy that allows you to learn lessons, like a teacher of sorts, like a mentor. But yeah, the people around you are grounded. They're giving you foresight. They're giving you um, advice, suggestions, and some clarity on what it really is, what's true. All right. So what's ending for you? We're in a new cycle. We have new moon. But what's ending for you? What's ending? Advice for Aquarius. Messages, advice. What's ending for you? What cycle is coming to an end? Thank you. Five of Swords. It's change. It's thief. It's selfish enemy energy. It's taking what's yours and leaving. Moving on. So that's what's ending for you. Yeah, you're definitely coming to the end of a cycle. The end of who you were. The end of how you were looking at yourself is coming to an end. Awareness is the new cycle. Recognition is the new cycle. Transcendence is the new cycle. Spiritual tendencies. Advice for Aquarius. Spiritual tendencies. Nine of Pentacles. Spiritually, you're very blessed. Spiritually, you're very abundant. You're grounded when it comes to your spirit energy. Um, you have a close relationship with your God. You have a close relationship with your faith. And... You're very proud and very grateful, very, very graceful, very, very much aligned with your spiritual magic. All right. Work, employment, job, career. 
there's some some grief here. Ten of Swords. There's some backstabbage. There's some dishonesty. There's some enemy the enemy energy happening here. Um, there's some obstacles with work. This is your job, career, hobbies, projects you're starting, income streams. There's going to be something proving really difficult, something that's going to prove to be going against the grain of the path you're walking on. Goals, desires, wish fulfillments, advice for Aquarius. Page of Cups. All right. Pages are students, they're apprentice energy. They need to learn something. They need to have experience. They're new out here in these streets. They have no idea what's happening. They're new and inexperienced and, uh, what's the word at the tip of my tongue, Tootsie? They are wet behind the ears. They are naive, unaware. So, and this is with love, with genuine love, with devotion, admiration, passion, um, with awareness. So this is what you desire. You desire to learn the lessons. You desire to heal and move forward. You desire to have the confidence to walk through this portal to keep moving forward to have a new bright life out of the shadows out of dishonesty i feel like for some of you maybe you've been purposely making bad choices and you're at this crossroads of wanting to move forward into the light so even if it's not bad choices with like your physical, spiritual, mental health. I feel like it is in a sense if it's against your morals, if you're going against the grain on purpose. What's going to prove difficult for you? Five of Pentacles change. <clears throat> being honest, being open about your truths, sharing your dishonesty, sharing your thievery, sharing your selfishness, opening up about it, being able to apologize and allow forgiveness and reconciliation can you be grounded can you let go of material needs can you let go of insubstantial parts of life if it's not love life laughter joy hard work, determination, focus. If it's not supporting and healing those around you, what is it? It's material. So that's going to prove difficult for you, letting go of that energy. Bottom of the deck here, two of swords. It's your balance of what you need to cut out of your life. It's how you balance it. It's how you see it. It's how you, you think it and process it. How you see the world has to change and you need to provide that balance. See it, feel it, and live it. It's going to prove difficult for you if you can't let go of these, um, this material love energy. All right. All right. Well, let's get into it. Advice, messages. Let's get some spirit advice for you. Angel advice, messages, advice. What does the artist need to know? Messages, advice for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? All right, that's a bit much. Let's clarify. Be more clear, be specific. Please, advice for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Thank you. Beloved one, I am helping with your spiritual soulmate relationship. 
Archangel Chamuel and Clear Sentience. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify as they signify divine guidance. So pay attention to how you feel. You are being guided. You do have support. All right, and bottom of the deck, hello from heaven. There's your support right there. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Let go of worries. Feel their loving blessings. Advice for Aquarius. So you have spiritual guidance. They are guiding you towards love. We have the lovers weighing heavy on your heart. Major Arcana with the Hermit. Which means you're focused, you're thinking heavy, you're reflecting. And you're focused, you're very passionate about having love. I feel like um, your spiritual soulmate is out there. Perhaps you know them. Perhaps they're one of your support energies. Perhaps they're one of your healing energies. Whoever your mentor is for you. They may be your soulmate, your spiritual soulmate. Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Messages, advice. Divine Masculine is in control of their emotions, their feelings. They're not unstable. They are very practical, very much um, able to process with logic. We've got push and pull energy. That's you going back and forth with honesty, with the truth. Here's your apology again. Regrets, reconcile, forgiveness. And we have temptation. That's what you're pushing and pulling for. You want to move forward, but you're so tempted with this material energy here. Worry, anxiety, fear. Let go of this temptation. Because ego equals death, baby. Amen. Divine feminine. Divine masculine, divine feminine. So divine masculine is very much a logical, practical thinker, able to process things. Divine feminine is very understanding, very empathic, empathetic, able to heal and learn the lessons. So listen to your intuition. You, you, you should be a boss over your emotions, over your feelings, not a boss over material things. Not that you asked, but that's my advice. All right. And is that it? And we have destined. All right. So there is something in your destiny that's waiting for you to be in the right energy so that you can move forward on that path to find it. Um, I would definitely figure out where the healing needs to begin. Um accept or provide that apology, forgive or or apologize, let go of negative energy, selfish, dishonest, enemy, thief energy, worry, anxiety, fear, ego, ego equals death, all right? Listen to your intuition. Balance your divine feminine, balance your divine masculine energy. Don't have that push and pull energy with temptation because destin, destiny is on the other side. That's how I feel. I feel as though it's like you have destiny waiting for you. You're pushing and pulling because temptation is pulling you away and you're pushing forward to destiny. So it's a fight. It's a struggle. You're the wounded warrior. You need to boss up. Masculine, feminine, ego equals death. Apologize, move forward, listen to your intuition Forgive, reconcile, move back into your love, your unconditional love, admiration, devotion, passion. All 
All right, spiritual healing happening here. I love this. Let's take a look at your magic. Hi, pure magic oracle. Advice for Aquarius. Which is Aquarius need to know? cards for you number four earth earthly mother earth material tangible grounding psychic recharge grounded healer mentor layers 31 reduces to the number four florida water natural form enchanted potion red roses cleansing yeah cleanse your energy 13 Reduces to number four. Mugwort dreams, rhythm, higher self, reality, rest. Mm -hmm. Fifteen, six, secret seances, spirit world, messages, assistance, memories. All right, we are pushing up on the fourth month here. Four may be important for you. Earth Mother, Psychic Recharge, Grounded Healer, Mentor, Layers, Spirit World, Messages, Secret Seances, Assistance, Memories, Florida Water, Natural Form, Enchanted Potion, Red Roses, Cleansing, and Mugwort Dreams, Rhythm, Higher Self, Reality, and Rest. All right, let's go ahead and set these aside over here. Let's take a look at your magic. Believe your own magic, Oracle. Messages, advice for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? There we go. We start flipping now. Air, air, air. For our Aquarius air energy, we get some air on the table here. Messages, advice. Messages, advice for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Air, energy, messages, advice. Number 16 reduces to 7. Bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself, absolutely. And bottom of the deck, number 44. Storm, every hurricane comes to an end. All right, I would like to get some love advice for you. Let's take a look at love. We have love weighing heavy on your heart matters. I'm curious about the love. Let's get some advice. Messages, advice. Let's do a love reading for you. Messages, advice for Aquarius, the lovers. Aquarius, the lovers. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, King of Cups.
All right, bottom of the deck, the hermit. Again, what's done in the dark comes to the light. It's reflection. It's seeing the truth. It's pulling back and taking a look so you can have clarity and awareness and a new understanding. All right. In love, in love, in love. Eight of Pentacles. You're, you're trying to figure out... You're trying to figure out what works for you. What's best for you? What's the best way to move forward? What is your future path and legacy that you'd like to leave behind? It's like you realize the apology and the forgiveness and the healing is needed. The support is needing to move forward. Four of Pentacles. It's very important to you. You have to protect this energy. You have to do this to move forward. Um, it's, it's almost calling to you. It's like a calling. It's like you're receiving this innate feeling that it, it's very important to you. You're open to this energy. You're open to wanting love. For some of you, you don't have love yet. You're looking for love. You're trying to figure out how to find it. You, you, you can't even find what what page it's on, let alone what book it's in. Okay? Um, it's, it's complete soul searching. And I feel like that's why we have this. Your, your beloved ones, your, your ancestors are helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. You're reaching out, you're connecting, you're finding balance with the energies around you. You're looking to be open and be understood and have your heart above your head. Or I'm sorry, head above your heart, have your head above water. And to have ships coming in in that sense of love. For some of you, you have love. You have a deeply rooted love relationship. It could be marriage. It could be, um, you know, engaged to be married and... You're trying to build and strengthen the bond, strengthen the connection. It's important to you. It holds near and dear to you. And so you're opening your mind, you're opening your heart and trying to find the best way, the best path forward to retain, to keep this, this love. It's a blessing for you. There are blessings coming in. It is abundant. It feels good it makes you happy this person absolutely makes you happy for those of you in this deeply rooted relationship this deep love this marriage this engagement it's it's a blessing you're learning you're loving you're devoted you're passionate about this person you admire them you look up to them they're teaching you things and for some of you um, it's a wish manifestation to have this. You're thinking of this. You're wanting this. You're trying to figure out how do I find it? What page in what book is this treasure? Where's the map? How do I find it? So because you have these blessings, you have spiritual guidance, you have ancestor blessings, you have an opportunity. It's here for you. You have to let go of this negative energy, ego, listen to your intuition, Avoid temptation. Find balance between your divine feminine, divine masculine. Heal, right? You have to heal from your past traumas in order to move forward. We talked about how you can't have wish fulfillments when you're full of negative energy, worry, anxiety, fear. You're going to bring forth a new partner who's full of worry, anxiety, fear. They're going to be selfish, dishonest, and an enemy with thief behavior. You give what you get. Eight of Wands, it's celebration, it's joy, it's it's a positive message, a good message, a message of good news. Collaboration, partnership, it's a celebration, something to celebrate. You, you do have a blessing to find this love. You have a blessing to keep, to strengthen this love. Stay out of negative energy, balance your energy, listen to your intuition. Ego equals death. When you think you have surrendered... Do what? Surrender more. Yes. Yes, yes. Surrender more. All right. Romance advice. Messages. Advice. 
Romance, romance, romance. What does Aquarius need to know? Messages and back to Aquarius. Messages, advice for Aquarius. We're at 45 minutes, you guys. Thank you for being here still. I appreciate you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Um, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notifications button. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I just put this channel up a few months ago. Um, assist me with the algorithms, if you would, please, and like the video. If you're still here 45 minutes in, I'm going to jump into your love reading and love advice. So listen, I give it all to you. One go round, one free reading. And it clarifies itself over and over and over. Apologize. All right. Negative behavior. Move forward. Heal. Support. Be aware. Unconditional love. Stand up for yourself. Surrender and surrender more. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. In other words, stand up for yourself. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Boom. I know I've said that to you already, but let's keep going. Keep an open mind. Open heart, open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah. You can't keep expect you can't keep going for the same thing expecting something different. Open your mind, open your heart. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Don't block your blessings here, Aquarius. Let it go. Let go of negative energy, worry, anxiety, fear. Addictions. Anything else in here? Nobody know. Bottom of the deck. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. You've already met them. All right. You've already met them. Messages, advice for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? All right. There's that pretty purple again, that lilac. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Make good choices and be in positive energy. That's my advice. That is my advice. Let's get some Twin Flame Oracle for you. Advice, messages. For Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Messages, advice for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? The lovers, potential lovers. Messages, advice, what does Aquarius need to know? We have Chaser, in pursuit, convincing, rejection. Let them go and let it be. Move on. We have Sacred Journey. Understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. 
vibration, energy and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. Yeah, you get what you give. Do better if you want better. Split energy, options, unfocused, multitasking. Decide what you really want. Inner child, playful, happy, enjoy the present moment, live to the fullest, and union, reconciliation, eternal love. Your time has come. And bottom of the deck, compromise, mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings rewards. All right, that's it on the love. I'm going to get you some you advice. And let's find out what's going on in the shadows. So much shadow work for you. We're going to get this done before an hour. Don't worry. Keep an open mind. Be grounded. Be a healer. Find your higher self, truth in your reality, rest, regain your balance, stay positive, no worry, anxiety, fear, let go of negative people, let go of people that aren't in your future, that aren't have no place in your future. You don't hold on to people, let them go, let it be. If you're chasing someone, then they don't want to be caught. I understand you better now. I do wish you well. I feel like you're taking a look at yourself. I feel like this is what you say when you look in the mirror. Do better. If you want more, do more. All right. You can't take the shortcut and expect to win the race. No shortcuts in life, no shortcuts in love, no cheating. You got to do the work. Vibrate, energy, positivity, raise your vibration. Attract exactly what you desire. Be what you desire. All right. advice help people give back do good shit for humanity get over yourself and pull your things together focus on other people right you're supposed to be a healer so heal yourself and move on stop obsessing you are not the center of the universe yeah heal yourself get better move on Get some sleep, rest, relaxation, restore your balance, restore your energy. You're being an ass because you're tired. Face to pillow now. <laughs> All right. Um, that's my advice. That's what I have for you today, Aquarius. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that notifications button. You won't miss out on the next reading. Good luck with everything, you guys. Aquarius, blessed be.